Hello there, my name is Mac Horse, and this video is my response to Hearty Mac Smarty's old FMAO cat ears and tail tutorial videos. From time to time, people are still coming to my Discord server with a problem that their cat and ears model don't work, and pointing out to Hearty's video. Hearty Mac Smarty's video is quite outdated nowadays. Back then, it was the only way to get the models like these to work, but now, it's rather a liability than a help for me. Today, I'll try to fix this, and make cat, wolf, and whatever is entails more accessible. If you're lazy to do the whole thing, then you can download these models in the description, and skip to the last section where I put these onto the character, but then you'll have only these green ears. For this tutorial to work, you must have Blockbuster 1.6 or above. Anyways, let's go. So first, we have to find a model of a cat. It doesn't matter what kind of a cat, but as long as it has the ears and the tail, that's what matters. You can try out searching either on Turbo Squid or Sketchfab. I chose to search on Sketchfab. Enable downloadable and select sort by views. Now we can find the bestest cat ears. I found this green girl beforehand. We can try extracting both ears and tails from this model in Blender. Download and unzip the file which we can import into Blender. Fortunately, this model came with a blend file which can significantly simplify our work. Before we open Blender, this is not a Blender tutorial. Please go watch some Blender tutorials on how to do stuff. Once it is opened in Blender, it doesn't have textures. It doesn't matter as we're not rendering anything and the texture coordinate data is still there. Anyways, first thing we need to do is to reset the pose, and pose the tail. Make sure to apply the armature modifier once the pose is set up. Once the tail's pose has set, or you were happy with your cat's tail, remove everything else beside the tail and ears. The ears are attached to the hair mesh. So we need to remove everything else beside the ears. You can use L key, or select linked, to try and separate ears part from the rest of the haircut. Once everything is separated, we need to move ears and tail to the origin of the document, which is 000, and set the anchor point to be the document's origin. Let's move the texture related to the hair and tail to the parent folder, so it will be easier for us to move later these files. I noticed there were more issues with the model, so we have removed remaining modifiers, for exception of the subdivision modifier from both ears and tail. Now let's separate the ear, so we had an ability to manually pose individual ears in Blockbuster. Make sure to give both ears appropriate names. Scale both ears and tail by 2, because otherwise they will appear too small. Now it's time to export, we're going to export ears and tails separately, first we'll export the tail. Make sure to enable selection only, disable right materials, because in this case we have only one texture for ears and tail, and enable triangulate faces, just in case, export the tail under its name. Then select both ears and repeat the procedure. Now we're ready to import it into Minecraft. Welcome back to Minecraft. Let's open up the models folder. You can do it by opening dashboard GUI pressing control and zero keys, and then clicking on the button. Create two different folders for both cat ears and tail. Let's start with importing the ears first. Copy and paste the ears.obj to the cat ears folder and then rename it to model.obj. This isn't necessary for Blockbuster 1.6.3 or above, but for older versions, it's required. Then create skins folder, and copy and paste the texture we prepared beforehand to the skins folder. Now repeat the same thing with tails model. Once texture and both models are placed into their folders, you can open the creative morph menu, and you'll see both tail and ears are there. Now we can attach these to Steve using the body part system. Make sure to check the tutorial, in the top right corner, about the body part system. Now it's a matter of just placing both models on Steve. 
Looks great. If you want to remove these weird triangles, let's make them smooth by going into model editor, and enabling smooth option for both ears and tail. Now it looks almost perfect, the only thing left here to do is to rotate the ear somehow so you wouldn't see the bottom part of the ear. You can always fix the geometry in Blender or any other model editor, but it's easier to just slightly rotate it inwards. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope this tutorial was at the very least helpful. Honestly, model loading is probably the most difficult feature of Blockbuster Mod to get hang of these days. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.